Hello everybody. We're talking to David today and we're standing beside of uh, David's Cessna 210. Hello David. Hi, Pleased good to, to meet see you. you. Frank. Pleased to meet yes, you, sir. My name's David Hilston. I'm an engineer and uh, of course I have an involvement with the aircraft and have since I was about 12 years old. But I've used my engineering expertise to develop uh, uh, modifications for certain aircraft. This just happens to be my personal aircraft. Uh, it's highly modified. It's a 1982 uh, version of the Cessna 210. It's got a larger engine and propeller, which gives it more thrust and climb. It's also more efficient, which means it uses less fuel, gives me longer range. Uh, I've got uh, a Robertson Stoll kit that I installed several years ago that allows me to land on shorter strips. It also allows me to take off in shorter distances uh, and climb to higher altitudes. Uh, one thing you might want to look at on the top of the wing right here is these vortex generators and these vortex generators uh, keep the air attached to the top of the wing which is pro which provides more lift for the aircraft uh, also we have speed brakes that uh, pop up out of the top of the wing which is, allows us to slow down without changing the power settings on the engine and uh, what that does on a uh, a normally aspirated air cooled engine is uh, keeps the engine from having shock cooling on the cylinders because uh, the primary source of the cooling is air and uh, with using the speed brakes allows us to leave the power settings alone on the engine and uh, it, it reduces the shock cooling effect on the engine which increases the life of the engine. The uh, other modifications we've done is we've converted the uh, airframe um, to a little stronger uh, uh, attachment points which allows us to put a turbine engine on the aircraft. The aircraft has already been prepared for a turbine engine a, a turboprop like a prop jet, uh, but we don't have that engine on the airplane at this point. Uh, some of the other modifications which uh, we discussed earlier, these are also vortex generators, but instead of being on the uh, top of the wing, they're attached to the vertical stabilizer, and uh, once again their purpose is to keep the air attached to the surfaces of the controls. We've uh, also uh, provided static wicks on all the air surfaces. And what these do is they discharge any static buildup uh, that is on the aircraft external skin and discharges it in the atmosphere. Uh, it's like miniature lightning because uh, the airplane's flying through a fluid, which in this case the fluid's air, and uh, that fluid generates a static charge across the skin and we dissipate it through these lead filled static wicks into the atmosphere. That also helps eliminate uh, trouble with radios. Like, communications, transmissions, and navigation. We also have uh, some surfaces on the airplane which we put on which are uh, for anti-ice purposes. And what we do is we have this uh, uh, coating here on the front. We put uh, a special uh, polymer on this coating that allows, the, uh, allows us to fly through ice formations without the ice attaching to the structure. This airplane also uh, is a retractable geared airplane. Uh, the gear retracts by hinging in and back, kind of like a seagull when he's flying. And it's a little bit different because it actually goes into the fuselage where most retractable airplanes, the landing gear goes up into the wings. Uh, another thing we might explain about is the uh, instrument panel is, is highly modified. This instrument panel is actually the fourth generation that we've put in this aircraft and it includes uh, four GPS units, uh, we've got two moving maps, and then uh, we've got some redundancy in the fact that we've got uh, dual altimeters and uh, a dual attitude uh, indicating gyro. Uh, all the uh, switches and so forth have been replaced with the more modern uh, uh, non-magnetic type contactors. And it's also got uh, a three-axis autopilot, which will allow this airplane to fly itself down to within about 50 feet of the ground in bad weather. And you designed that uh, control panel, didn't you? Y yes, sir, I did. I actually designed and uh, manufactured this uh, instrument panel. Thank you very much, David, for all the information. Have a good trip, sir. Frank, I enjoyed meeting you, and I take care of yourself. Enjoyed meeting you. Yes, sir. See ya. Mm -hmm. Thank you.